गुड मॉर्निंग वट इज द टॉपिक कुछ पता है पी एच मीटर के बारे में नथिंग राइट एवरी वन सो वट इज पी एच पी एच इज डिफाइंड एज कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आय इन द सोल्यूशन सो पी एच एक्सप्रेस एज पी एच इक्वल टू माइनस लॉगरिदम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आय एच प्लस आय प्योर वाटर हैज पी एच नियरली इक्विवेलेंट टू सेवन विच इज कंसिडर्ड नॉर्मल नो दिस इज द न्यूट्रल पी एच पी एच सेवन इज न्यूट्रल पी एच सोल्यूशन हैविंग पी एच ग्रेटर देन सेवन आर कंसिडर्ड बेसिक वेर एज दो लोअर देन सेवन आर कॉल्ड एसिडिक लोअर देन सेवन इज एसिडिक पी एच एंड मोर देन सेवन इज बेसिक पी एच एल्कलाइन then method of ph measurement method of ph measurement are conventionally ph was measured with the help of litmus paper which determined whether the solution was acidic or basic that usually the with litmus paper we can also detect in uh, in our bed side also the ph later on ph papers were used which gave subjective range and were not precise nowadays ph is measured with the help of ph meter which gives precise ph measurement so in lab we use ph meter to detect the ph of any like any uh, solution if it is acidic or basic so this is ph meter ph meter we have been all lab so what is ph meter the ph scale is a series of numbers that express the acidity as the concentration of hydrogen ions in the solution the normal hydrogen ion concentration in terms of gram per liter is in the range of 10 to the power minus 1 to 10 to the power minus 14 10 to the power minus 1 to 10 to the power minus 14 like ph 1 to ph 14 so for simplicity so what is the formula of ph minus logarithm of minus logarithm of ph hydrogen ion minus logarithm of hydrogen ion so in lab we have to calculate the ph with this formula so what is the principle of ph meter ph meter is based on the principle of potentiometry which is measurement of electric potential generated between two electrodes of electrochemical cell due to difference in hydrogen ion concentration ab ye principle likho ye diagram hum log baad mein isko explain karenge iske baad pura parts of ph meter par ke if a metal plate is placed in a solution of its solution it loses ions into the solution and itself becomes negatively charged as com compared to solution this generates an electrical potential on the metal plate or the electrode so if two different metal electrodes are connected in this way the difference in their electrode potential can be measured as electric potential hence if one of the electrodes is a standard electrode the electrode potential of the other can be measured by comparison so the first line is if a metal plate is placed in a solution of its own solution it loses ion to wo solution mein metal rakhne se kya hota hai wo uska ion lose hota hai ha to wo khud negative charge ho jata hai that ion to compare to the solution metal will get negatively charged if there is two metal if two different metal uh, electrodes are connected in in the solution so we take one is standard and other is uh, like measured by comparison comparison with the standard one so what is electric potential the difference or like uh, electric potential between two different metal electrodes then electrochemical cell consists of two metal electrodes each of which is dipped into suit suitable but different solution connected by wire the circuit is completed by potassium chloride or agar bridge between two liquids each metal and the electrode and the solution in which it, it is immersed constitute a half cell 
if one of the half cell is arbitrarily assigned a fixed potential then the potential of other half cell may be determined relative to it the electrode the potential of which is fixed is called standard electrode and the other electrode is called measuring electrode the electromotive force emf is defined as maximum difference in potential between two electrodes obtained when the cell current is zero <coughs> the components of ph meter first component is glass electrode it consists of very thin bulb about 0.1 mm thick blown on to a hard glass tube of high resistance the bulb contains 0.1 mole per liter hcl hydrochloric acid connected to a platinum wire via silver silver chloride combination the next is calomel electrode it consists of a glass tube containing saturated potassium chloride connected to platinum wires through mercury mercurous chloride paste when the electrode is dipped in a solution the thin glass membrane separates two solution of two different ph values so to measure electrode of ph meter is glass electrode and calomel electrode so in calomel electrode containing this generates potential difference across the membrane due to transfer of hydrogen ions through glass the electromotive force emf of electrochemical cell gives measurement of hydrogen ion concentration uh, recent instruments give measurement by digital display of ph reading and another is combined electrode in uh, ph instrument a combined electrode having both reference electrode and measuring electrode is used the ph of unknown solution at 25 degree celsius is given by ph equal to e minus k by 0.0591 where k is constant and e is the measured potential so here the standard temperature is 25 degree celsius if temperature increase or decrease what will happen different ph how if temperature increased so there is like a, there will be more h plus ion more hydrogen ion so the solution will be more acidic what is the procedure wo hum to lab mein ja ke karenge the whole test so what is the procedure the instrument is turned on the instrument is turned on and allowed to stabilize for 10 to 15 minutes during this period the electrode bulb should be kept in distilled water after the instrument is stabilized wash the electrode bulb with distilled water wipe dry with filter paper and place it in a standard buffer solution the choice of buffer is dependent on the ph of the unknown solution after calibrating the ph meter wash the electrode with distilled water wipe with filter paper and place it in unknown solution after the ph measurement knob should be maintained in standby position wash the electrode with distilled water and place it in a beaker containing distilled water before turning off the instrument the advantage of glass electrode is that it can be used in any solution not being affected by organic compounds or oxidizing or reducing agents a small quantity of the solution is sufficient for the determination of ph special glass membrane is required when the ph of the solution is very high which is more than 10 like in previous slide so this is the principle of ph meter so the component of ph meter are glass, glass, glass electrode glass electrode then combined so, so in this picture see like this is glass electrode hmm. this reference electrode also known as calomel electrode so we will see in our lab one glass electrode this contain 
silver chloride one yellow solution this is silver chloride and back side back seal uh, kcl one element with potassium chloride and another element with uh, this uh, fill such uh, solution of potassium chloride 7 ph why why because how how is it neutral like it contains equal number of h ion hydrogen and hydroxyl ion equal number of hydrogen and hydroxyl ion so one tip contain silver chloride and another tip contain mercury to mercurous component likha tha na ek mercury to mercurous one is mercurous chloride a this is wrong this will be sg2cl2 mercurous chloride so this is the principle of ph meter to electrode glass electrode and telomel electrode so what is the applications of ph meter hmm. to measure ph of biological fluids so this is one table ph of various body fluids cerebrospinal fluid csf 7.3 blood is 7.38 to 7.42 gastric juice is 1.5 to 3.5 lymph same as plasma blood and uh, uh, seminal fluid is 7.1 to 8.0 and bile is 7.5 to 8.8 the one application is to measure ph of biological fluids <coughs> next is to adjust the ph of buffer solution which are used in enzyme assays to adjust the ph of buffer solution which are used in enzyme assays third is to adjust the ph of various reagents used in biochemical assays and the fourth is clinical application includes measurement of ph of blood gases carbon dioxide oxygen and bicarbonate using blood gas analyzer abg analysis so define ph concentration so h plus ions in a solution so is ph of pure water changes with increase in temperature why no i have explained na with increased temperature there will be more dissociation of the molecule so there will be more presence of h plus ions so h plus ion make it more acidic like water in 25 degree celsius ph of water is 7 but in 30 degree celsius ph of water is 6.92 so the solution will become more acidic if the temperature increased if the temperature decreased the solution will become more alkaline because of more presence of hydroxyl ion <coughs> then what do you mean by universal ph indicator water ph hmm universal ph indicator is a combination of different kind of indicator in one same thing in same uh, maybe it uh, available as in paper also in paper also also available as solution so it gives different color for different ph of the solution combination combination of different indicator like in litmus paper na for various ph there will be various color changes like phenolphthalein phenolphthalein then methyl red then enumerate the principle of ph meter use of ab likha na the application what is the principle of ph meter in one line the ph uh, principle of ph meter is to to measure ph to detect the presence of hydrogen ion in a solution so the neutral ph is 7 if this is less than 7 this is acidic if this is more than 7 this is alkaline so what is the use of ph meter 
What is the what are the applications now? The use of pH meter application. What is buffer solution? Like buffer solution is get a fixed kind of pH. Where after adding of acid or alkali, there will be like minimal or no change in the pH. So this is the buffer solution. The bu buffer solution is made up of weak acid or uh, and with uh, is strong base base salt or weak base with its strong acid salt so this is buffer solution what is abg analysis the last point we have written now in application <laughs> So, ABG analysis is a test. Hmm. ABG analysis is a test to <coughs> this test measures the partial pressure of carbon dioxide, partial pressure of oxygen, and the to measure the pH of arterial blood. Also, it can measure <coughs> oxyhemoglobin in the blood. So, this is ABG analysis arterial blood the pH of arterial blood oxyhemoglobin oxyhemoglobin it also can measure oxyhemoglobin our body has buffer system in our body why what is the use to maintain the pH like if we have any disease like uh, the metabolic acidosis alkalosis no like in uncontrolled diabetes mellitus there is increased ketone bodies and uh, in vomiting in diarrhea so there will be like imbalance of acid base no so the buffer solution act as shock absorber it act as shock absorber to stabilize our body in acid base imbalance condition shock absorber like if your body responded to imbalance of acid base now so to prevent that imbalance so mainly abhi lab mein ja ke karna kya hai with ph meter measurement procedure वहां पे जाके पूरा एक्सप्लेन होगा ग्रुप करके